Hi, I'm Jody Shelley, and welcome to another episode of Under Review, presented by Continental Office. Today, we're going to sit down with Blue Jackets center iceman Alexander Wenberg, one of the smartest players out there in the National Hockey League. We want to see what goes on through his mind during these plays. Should be fun. Let's go take a look. All right, Alex, this is a shorthanded situation. You turn it into a two-on-one. What? You see, you're right in the middle of the ice there, yeah. on top of the circle. Amazing stick at the line. You got to have the read on that. You anticipated that play, and then the player on your back. So you, do you just feel this, or? Do you... Yeah. So skating. I mean, I felt like uh, when this play happened that we kind of had a two-on-one. There was a coming and back checking. So I, how I put the puck right there was try to just get away from it because I feel like he's coming on my right side. Mm -hmm. And all I, I kind of waited to see Yandel's doing the stick. So right now he's kind of like poke checking. So it's kind of like a little bit of timing, but I mean this one worked out perfectly, obviously. But. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to suck in both the two guys to create some space for Cam and uh, just to see Yandel move his stick a little bit towards me and kind of like open up that pass for me. So, yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah. It was a good play. Yeah. Now, do you ever think, okay, you're trying to suck those guys in, right? Yep. Do you ever think a shot, do you ever think shoot just to be a shooting threat? When I come in that two and one, and I know there's a back checking too, there's I have absolutely no mind of like shooting the puck at all. Because I know, yeah. Him. First of all, I got Cam with me. I know like when he get an opportunity to score, he usually puts it in the back of the net. So <laughs> yeah. for me, Smart it's man. not that I can't shoot the puck. It's just that he will get a better opportunity to score than I would have. So you are in front of the net. Yeah. This is on the power play. You like it in there? I do. Yeah. I mean, I I play there back in like juniors a couple of times and. You see the ice very like differently from when you play on the half wall. Like uh, when you get the puck behind the net, you see how you see the team collapse, and you try to find the guys that they're worried about. So that's why it's kind of fun to see like if you move the puck from one side to the other, how their team had to react to it. So and this is what happened in this goal because it's such a tough read for the D's to pick up a cam that comes down low, and and just to see how they kind of like over covering the middle guys. And what a skilled play. That's not just a pass. You kind of know that you have to throw a little sauce on it because usually the sticks are usually always going towards the puck. So if you try to put it on the ice, there's always like hitting something. So you understood that the sticks are coming towards the puck there? Yeah. And just like I said, like Falker's reaction is to cover back and attack me. So what he's going to do is not. Uh, try to hit me or anything. He's just gonna leave him in his stick. So for me, if I can just pass his stick, it's a great advantage for me. So you sure. you invite that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of want him to come yeah. there because then it open up uh, for other other scoring opportunities. What a great play again! I love this. It's a, another quick decision by you, Alex, and it's option A. Yeah. Uh, so obviously this worked out pretty good, but uh, <laughs> I came in, uh, it was a long shift for Boone and Andy, so I, I, I got fresh legs coming in right now, and uh, uh, for me right here, I see Boone just going towards the net, and I try to find between his legs, but I mean, it's a quick, he goes down pretty quick, and unfortunately get it back, and... Did so. you already see Andy wide open? Yeah, I saw him on the first pass too, but I was already... Because it felt like Boone had the step on the guy in front of Ned. And uh, so that was the first first pass. But when I get the puck back, I get a second opportunity. So I, that's when Andy get the second option. Because so. you get it in one second. So you, you already know your option in Boone right here. I actually hear Andy right here, too. He wanted it pretty bad right now to go back door. <laughs> It worked out better because right now they're kind of looking at the puck, the three of them. Yeah. So that just gives Andy like a soft area behind them all. So yeah. Good plays. All great little plays by you. Mm -hmm. Well, Alex, that's all the clips we got for you. Oh yeah, that's good. Thanks for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks.